so much flooding in South Florida that catfish were captured swimming through the streets in Marcos Island. Although forecasted to keep weakening at this point, Irma is expected to remain a hurricane at least through Monday morning. Good evening, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown. Thank you so much for joining us. We do have Team 3 coverage for you on the hurricane over southern Florida. Meteorologist Chelsea Ingram is tracking the storm from the Weather Center tonight. But first, we want to get right out to our Greg Argos live in Miramar, Florida, just north of Miami. So, Greg, tell us what folks there are dealing with. Yeah, I can tell you right now, Natasha, and good evening from Miramar, Southern Florida right here. The storm right now, fortunately, much further north and west of us, but still, we still have those bands of wind and some rain still coming down here, but it was nothing like it was just a few hours ago. We were talking about 100 plus mile per hour gusts and steady hurricane force winds. You can see snapping trees and branches throughout the area. Heavy rain throughout this entire region. Take a look at that tree right there in the distance, falling over and narrowly missing some cars here in this parking lot. Unfortunately, this is not an anomaly. This is more of the norm here in this area. Hurricane Irma, incredibly destructive. It's hard to drown out the sound of Irma's wings. This is pretty bad. But with the power out and no AC, a group of new neighbors riding out the storm at this dark Miramar hotel are sure trying. Stay positive, understand that at the end of the day we're safe, nobody's getting hurt, and you know we're, we're gonna wait till this thing finishes. Inside near darkness, outside Irma howling as Florida's east coast feeling her brute strength. But everywhere you see heavy rain, heavy wind, down trees, and dangerous conditions. It's getting crazy outside. Conditions even worse on Florida's Gulf side, where Irma's eye focused on Naples. <laughs> this video from Devin Jarvis, a Doylestown native, now working at this Bonita Springs Hotel, which is just north of where the eye hit. I'm praying for them. I have friends and family over there. Prayers also pouring in for loved ones from the Florida Keys, wrecked by Irma's power. And now those from there waiting for the green light to return home. How are you holding up? Fine. Done it before. And if I have to, I'll do it again. And Natasha, you just heard from that last man. He lives in the Florida Keys right now with his wife. I was speaking with him this afternoon here at the hotel. He was hunkering down. He says he lived through Hurricane Andrew, where his house at the time in Miami was destroyed. I asked him what happens to his condo here if there is some damage. He and his wife says, well, they're not going to rebuild. They're going to move to a different state if that's the case, but they haven't been able to verify what kind of damage their home in the Florida Keys received so far. All right, Greg, well, we do appreciate that. Just also, Greg, we know that the storm surge was supposed to be a factor as well uh, during this storm. Tell us a little bit about that and what you were seeing there. Yeah, so here in Miramar, we're enough inland that there wasn't a storm surge uh, concern here because of the storm. But Miami, I can tell you where we were staying the last few nights, about three nights ago, that received, especially in the Biscayne Bay, that is the area, the body of water which buffers downtown Miami. Uh, with Miami Beach and then the ocean, that entire bay, all of that ocean water because of Irma was pushed into the bay and then pushed into downtown Miami. So we're receiving a lot of that surging flood water from this storm. Uh, it's still a few feet there right now from what I understand, but it is receding, which is good news tonight. All right, Greg, we can see the gusts are still whipping out there. We do appreciate you guys and certainly stay safe. Thank you so much. Well, Greg Argos will continue to broadcast live from South Florida following the stories of those impacted by Hurricane Irma. Tune in for his reports here on Eyewitness News and also on our sister station, the CW Philly, as well.